Speaking before a joint meeting of Congress, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu unveiled a plan for Gaza's future after the war. Israel does not seek to resettle Gaza, but for the foreseeable future, we must retain overriding security control there to prevent the resurgence of terror to ensure that Gaza never again poses a threat to Israel. The Israeli Prime Minister is in Washington hoping to bolster U.S. support for the war against Hamas. A war Israel seizes a fight for survival after the October 7th terror attack. Our fight is your fight and our victory will be your victory. But some lawmakers are sending a message of their own, choosing not to attend. They're protesting Netanyahu's leadership in the face of international pressure for a ceasefire in Gaza. Vice President Kamala Harris skipped the speech, citing a scheduling conflict, and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi instead met with families of hostages held in Gaza. I think it's time to make a stance, and I'm doing it on behalf of my constituents. In addition to the boycotts inside the chamber, protesters rallied outside, gathering hours before the prime minister's arrival. Thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators assembled near the capital, as well as other demonstrators who support Israel but are staunchly opposed to Prime Minister Netanyahu, calling on him to prioritize bringing home the hostages. He is doing everything he can to sabotage the deal for his own political survival. Netanyahu is scheduled to meet with President Biden and separately Vice President Harris on Thursday. Then he heads to Florida to meet with former President Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago on Friday. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.